Back on Inside Tennessee, Susan, we didn't talk on this subject matter, vaccine passports, but lawmakers did take action banning the idea of a vaccine passport and demands for it by businesses. Do you think we'll see more of that in the next year? Um, probably not. I think uh, I think there's a lot of conversation about that, it, particularly when it gets getting on airplanes and traveling places. I've saved mine just in case somebody uh, out there demands that I show it. But it's a matter of freedom and uh, personal responsibility. That's what it was about with the legislature. Don? Well, you know, I note the incongruities of, you know, you don't need proof that you're vaccinated or proof that you're uh, not infectious, but you do need proof to vote. You need proof to drive. You need a driver's license. Also, we've had vaccine passports of sorts to travel worldwide for years. You have to show proof of various vaccines to enter into certain countries. I've recently uh, returned from a trip in the Middle East where we had to show proof uh, and, in fact, had to be tested to get in and to get back into the United States. So I don't think it's a real invasion of privacy based on travel and safety. And I, I, I think there's a balance that we need to strike. Don, Susan, we appreciate the conversation. We'll see you next week on Inside Tennessee.